Hi, my name is Marta Shirić Kraljević and I'll be your host today. I come from Shiroki Brieg in Bosnia and Herzegovina and here with me are some students from my town that will answer some questions for you. So I would like all of you to introduce yourselves. Hi, uh, my name is Boža Soldo. I am 16 years old and I'm from Shiroki Brieg. Uh, hi, my name is Sara Brekic and I'm 17 years old. Hi. Uh, my name is Mate Tjuk and I am 17 years old. Uh, hi, my name is Clara Zolko and I am 18 years old. Hi, my name is Ana Maria Brekalo and I am 16 years old. Okay, so let's start with the first question. What do you enjoy most about being a young person in today's world? Well, uh, first of all, uh, I think that young, young people have now uh, got, uh, gotten uh, much more wor world in, 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 the, in the modern world uh, that their opi op 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 opinion now means something and that they can make a change. Uh, yeah, the thing I like the most is our freedom, <coughs> uh, especially in today's social media uh, where we can exper experience ourselves uh, however we like. Uh, and how we can make friends in uh, whatever part of the world. We are so open-minded and we are open for uh, everything. Uh, I mean, that's the reason why we're here. So, as Sarah said, and I would agree, uh, the reason I enjoy being a young person in today's world is actually yeah, having freedom. Because people in the past, mostly, most of the people in the past didn't have one. and. Uh, we have social medias, new technology that we can use for our new education and uh, meeting you new friends and probably making relationships out of it too. Well, I think, I mean, the thing I love the most is that we have a, I would say like a freedom of speech, we have a freedom of uh, education, we have freedom of traveling. You know, as Mate said, uh, things were much more limited in the past and now we can choose uh, where we want to go uh, and have or actually finish our education. Um, we can choose where to travel, we can choose, you know, basically we can create uh, a life uh, how we want it to live. The thing I enjoy is that since we are so young we have so much time ahead of us and in, the, uh, in that time we can make anything we want to we have so many opportunities to do the things that we want to either change or start new things. Okay, great. How do you all feel about social media in today's world? Well, uh, social media uh, is a really div diverse topic, so it has actually many bad sides to, uh, to it, uh, but it also has some good sides. So it uh, it uh, it uh, made in, like in information, you know, uh, it, it, it made like uh, <laughs> the, the information crossing uh, much more faster and easier. It uh, gave a lot of people a uh, a voice and. People have a much better way to express them than themselves, but but then uh, then in a way you also have uh, the people who use their freedom of speech in a bad way. So y you can look at it from many per per perspectives. Uh, so I feel like social media pushes you out to the world, so you can open up. But that sometimes can be a good thing because someone feels uh, more. Um, can s someone can feel more depressed at the time. So if someone pushes you uh, to public yourself, uh, that can be really hard for your mental health. Uh, and I believe uh, that uh, social media, media puts so high standards for us, uh, so um, we can't accomplish them. I'm, uh, that's realistic and uh, that can mess up so many people, not just teenagers, like people in general. Yeah, uh, the thing I would love to add is that people actually make money by posting stuff on so social media, so that could be a job too. So, and they mentioned some bad sides, and I really agree, but it really depends on how someone puts themselves out 
to social medias and uh, yeah. Uh, well, I mostly ag agree with Sara because I think there are a lot of unrealistic standards that social media puts on us uh, and especially in the last few years we can really see it. And it's really hard uh, for women and men, but I think it's mostly for the women because, you know, the girls you see on social media, uh, they dedicate their lives to make their accounts better, uh, more modern, more prestigious because that's a way they you know get their money they get paid by post for posting on social media and i think a lot of girls look up to them and uh, they don't even realize they that their you know main uh, goal in life isn't to have a great instagram or a fun tiktok it's something that you do on the side i mean it should be something that you do on the side and it doesn't need to be a thing that's always on your mind. Look, uh, like you're traveling and you're constantly, I need to, <coughs> sorry, I need to take, take a picture here. I need to film a TikTok here, you know. It should be something really cheerful. It should be something that relaxes you. And I feel like that was the goal when it was, it f when it was first created, but now it's kind of messed up. Uh, here's a fun one. Uh, what two words would you use to describe your time in the U.S. so far? I would use uh, the word um, new um, and experience. Great. Uh, I believe uh, it, it can be described in just two words. Uh, I mean, we learned so many new things here. We got new experiences. We made new friends, uh, and some of them are became becoming like a family to us. So um, that's something uh, we can't uh, erase from our lives after like a long time. So yeah. I would say welcoming and uh, friendly. Why? Uh, well, I went to a few things here out of program. I went to walk against the breast cancer, uh, went uh, bed donating and uh, like uh, recycling styrofoam and by that you could see people are grateful uh, wherever I went people introduced themselves they were really happy that I came there and they want me to stay even longer and you could say it's not something you see every day, so yeah. Okay, so um, what leadership skills do you think are the most important? Uh, well, I think uh, it's being open-minded and having courage because you can do anything new if you don't have courage to uh, express yourself and open yourself to the world. Uh, I mean, you have uh, many access uh, to make change, but you just need uh, to get around people, to talk to more people, to make new friends, uh, and that's how you can make some change. Yeah, I believe that communication is key to success and that many uh, leaders should just listen to others, pe other people, but also have their own opinion and just think about everything and then making the best decision for society. Okay, um, what would be a reason you would remain or return to your hometown after university? So, uh, the main reason I <coughs> I'm looking forward to returning home is my family, of course. But the reason I want to stay here I is because we have, actually people here have, a lot more opportunities than we have. Um, our society is still a bit, you know, close-minded, especially the older people. and. There are still not many things that that are improved, you know. A lot of uh, a lot of aspects are the same uh, that they were like 30 years ago, and you know, you know, I think this society is much more open-minded, much more welcoming, and much more improved. Uh, for example, education. We visited uh, some universities throughout this program, and I liked all of them. Uh, they have, you know, programs uh, that we didn't even know existed and that's just something that blows my mind and is like, 
you know, <laughs> it's kind of put, putting pressure on me because I'm like, wow, we need to do something in our country and it's something that that I'm quite uh, sad about because, you know, I think young people have so much power, so much, uh, so much will to work, so much will to study, and they are open to new things, but they don't have the opportunity to learn about them. <coughs> okay, so uh, what could be the one thing you could change about your town, home? Well, uh, since, it's, since it's a really small town, I would uh, make it more modern. Uh, there, so it would attract like many more young people uh, because we need to uh, in increase our population. Uh, and uh, when your population is growing, you will have much more di diversity in your town, much more th things to do, and of, 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 of course more people to, uh, to hang out with. So uh, one thing I would change about my hometown is uh, renovating uh, our school because it's really old building and uh, and maybe some people would in the future actually come to exchange in our school because our schools are now a bit rusty to be honest and I feel like they do need some remodeling and uh, one thing that is quite new to our town is like child's payments and because I heard many parents saying they cannot afford to have more children but since this child's payments came, many more kids are born, I think. So. Okay, so another fun question and also the last question. What is one word that describes your generation? I think the one word I would say uh, is curious. I would say interesting. Mm -hmm. I would say adventurous. Yeah. Well, this is all and thank you for your attention. <laughs>